Hello and welcome to the latest episode of The Board Masters with me, Chris Mullins, and today I am unboxing the Powerhouse expansion to Super Club, uh, which was a game obviously we featured heavily last summer, where Chris and I played through a full game over a number of weeks, and the biggest issue we had with the game was how simulating the games was distinctly uninteresting. It was just a dice roll, and in theory... This game, or this expansion, will solve that, hopefully. So the game rules, let's have a little look. The main function of this Powerhouses expansion to Super Club is to replace the simulated matches from the original game with something a little more challenging and less random. It introduces four new clubs to the Super Club universe and ensures five matches in every season, with all the injuries and game changes that follow. Have fun wiping the floor those stupid pow powerhouses. I think that's supposed to have with in it. Okay, so each of the teams have it has a different difficulty level. Uh, Black Lake is the hardest, Brown Country high, White Peak medium, Orange Beach low. And I'm very, very excited for this already because it does look like it's going to solve the issue that we had and Chris and I will definitely be looking to do another playthrough with these. Uh, so the quickest and most streamlined way to play with two to four managers is for every manager to play the same powerhouse at the same time. Okay, so you basically get assigned. And I guess you just play it in the same way. Just with the powerhouse. Got this powerhouse board whole host of new new players and staff which is always exciting because that obviously is what adds the, the randomness to the game uh, so we've got super agent and um, get the opportunity to sign any unsigned scouted players for the scouted price which is very powerful two formation cards okay assistant player coach Okay, that's really interesting. So he gives you plus one to your midfield when he's not playing, or he's a two-star utility player when playing, with two chemistry stars as well, so that is very good. Any three-star player or better can be named captain. Oh, we've got some five stars, a six-star. Okay. Potential for six star with Reddy. He's going to take some coaching, but ah, same with Zolasol. Or a long way of training him. He's up from two star up to six. Which is very satisfying if you get a two star up to a six star with training, definitely. Oh, not many defenders. Got some nice coaching on the goalkeepers. I like having some. There wasn't many... Oh, a five-star defender. Ballon board 2021. Okay. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of coaching on the goalkeepers. I don't think there was actually any. Oh, Zolasol was actually a one-star to begin with. Wow. So one-star all the way up to six. That is a lot of coaching. Oh, and even more. Buckus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm wondering if these, obviously pH six, pH six, pH three, pH one, whether they're they're actually assigned to the powerhouses with those numbers. Shengelia. He's in counter attack. <laughs> I wonder if that's intentional or whether that's just a massive coincidence. Okay, so then we have these powerhouses, which look like they're structured in a similar way to the actual Super Club cards, where the attack, the midfield, and the defence has a star value, only it looks like it, it's going to be altering, depending on some factor, I'm not sure what that, see, maybe that's the captain, where the captain is will dictate the stats, well, that's interesting. Again, this is just going to be the values 
of the the powerhouse clubs, just depending which ones one, two, three, or four. Okay. Very, very interesting. You've got obviously their tokens to, to track them in the points, and then they have their own season marker, point marker, and their, their assigned die. So obviously it's it's a, a small expansion to an existing game, so there's not a huge amount of components on, on show there, but definitely looks like it's going to add an awful lot of gameplay and definitely help Super Club get to the table a lot more because we're never going to get <laughs> three, four, five, six players around the table playing it, sadly. So the ability to, to have the game simulated is going to, but simulated in a far more interesting way than just rolling a dice, is going to make it far more attractive to table it. And hopefully Chris and I will be able to do that soon and get it on the channel before long. But thank you very much for watching. Look after yourself, stay safe, and have a good one. Bye-bye now.